the IE loop inspection required warning appears in Mazda 6 models from 2014 to 2018, indicating a problem with Mazda's innovative regenerative braking system. IE loop stands for intelligent energy loop. This regenerative braking system captures energy during braking and stores it in a supercapacitor, helping improve fuel efficiency. The system consists of three main components, a variable voltage alternator, a supercapacitor for energy storage, and a DC-DC converter that steps down voltage from 25 volts to 12 volts. When the IE loop inspection required warning appears, it means the system has detected a fault. The vehicle remains safe to drive, but the IE loop functionality may be disabled, potentially reducing fuel efficiency. The warning commonly appears in older vehicles with over 80,000 miles. The most frequent cause is supercapacitor degradation, as these components typically last 8 to 10 years. Corroded electrical connections, like this connector, can also trigger the warning as they disrupt communication between system components. The system monitors several technical parameters. It triggers the warning when the supercapacitor voltage drops below 20 volts, when charging irregularities are detected, or when communication errors occur between system modules. Understanding these system components and their interconnections helps diagnose why the warning appears and what repairs may be needed. Early detection and proper diagnosis are essential for maintaining IE loop system performance and avoiding more costly repairs down the road. When the IE loop inspection required warning appears, there are several troubleshooting steps you can take before visiting a dealer. The first step is performing a soft reset by disconnecting the 12 volt battery for at least 15 minutes. This allows the system to fully discharge and reset its memory. If the soft reset doesn't resolve the warning, use an OBD2 scanner to read and clear any stored error codes related to the IE loop system. If component replacement is needed, be prepared for significant costs. Supercapacitor replacement ranges from $800 to $1,500 while complete system overhauls can cost $2,000 to $3,500. Understanding the IE loop system components can help with diagnosis. The system includes a variable voltage alternator, supercapacitor, and DC-DC converter working together. To prevent IE loop issues, maintain your 12-volt battery in good condition and schedule regular electrical system inspections. Component replacement may require dealer calibration for proper operation.